What's up, everybody? It's Coach E, and oh, yes, this is your high school baseball recap, and this is the playoff picture for CPS baseball. Let's go. All right, guys, as we're approaching CPS baseball, I have to pick eight teams that I can see. Any one of these eight teams could win the city championship. All right. First team I got, come out Jackie Robinson North. Let's start Jackie Robinson North. I got Lane Tech. I got Ogden. I got Peyton. And I got Taft. Coming out of the Jackie Robinson South. I got Kenwood. I got Brooks. I got Simeon. And I got Morgan Park. All right, all right. I know I got some people out there that's cringing at this, but let me break down and tell you why. Here we go. Let me get into it. All right, here we go with Lane Tech. Lane Tech, Lane Tech. Um, Lane Tech is 18 to 7 on a year. Um, early on, I had a couple of key injuries, but um, Lane has a ton of pitching, and that's always good in the playoffs. Um, Ethan B., he is tearing the cover off the baseball. He's, you know, noted as one of the best hitters in the state. So it's going to be interesting to see Lane Tech in the playoffs. All right, my next team that I mentioned early, man, the Ogden Owls. The Ogden Owls, they red hot, or should I say green hot. They're on a five-game winning streak right now. Uh, Coach William Poole, you know he's no stranger to the big stage. Won a couple championships at Lakeview and now trying to um, do the same thing at Ogden. Uh, but this is one kid that's sticking out to me, the freshman Cordero. Every time, you know, I check him out on the pitcher's mound. He seemed to be getting better and better with each appearance on that mound. So, I, Ogden's going to be right there. Okay. Here's one of my surprises. I got Peyton College Prep. Now, listen to this. Peyton record is only 8-11 and 11 or something like that in the year, but they've been playing some really close baseball games. And everybody knows, and if you don't know, I'm sorry, when you play tough games – Throughout the season, in the playoff time, that helps you out. Um, they're, they're a steady Eddie type of team, right? They ain't going to do too much to impress you, but they're going to pick the baseball up, throw strikes, and put the bat on the ball. And that's that's what baseball is. Um, they got a guy, Freddie Matavis, man. He has been red hot at the plate the last couple games. So I'm going to keep a close eye on Walter Payton. All right. My last team up north that I got picked that could potentially – Playing the city championship is Taft. Taft is similar to Peyton College Prep. They reckon ain't going to show what the team is really is. But this team, Taft, man, I'm looking at it. They will sneak up on you. And this is, if I'm a coach on the other side, I don't want to, I do not want to play Taft early in the playoffs. Um, they're pretty, really, 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 really scrappy team. Um, they ain't going to wow you, but man, oh man. Woo. I don't want to see them early in the playoffs. All right, headed to the Jackie Robinson South, the South side. That's right. The first team is was a snoozer for me. I'm not going to lie. Brooks College Prep right now is playing some great baseball. They are finding a way to get it done. They just won six in a row. And I got to give a big shout-out to Coach Bill, this little Bill for all y'all who don't know. This Coach Little Bill, you know, he's doing some phenomenal work. Um, got, the, got them boys rolling. They're, they're, they're right there. Um, Nico Watson and Mir, they're uh, going to be really tough to beat on the pitchers, man. Um, and quiet as kept, Brooks is <laughs> they're finding a way. Um, Black Baseball Media, we're going to make sure that we follow this team closely leading up to the playoffs. Um, complete turnaround from where we saw them in the beginning of the year, so great job. All right, I'm going to head on 53rd Street, man. 53rd and Blackstone. The Kenwood Broncos, they are pound for pound. On paper, they're the best team in the city, um, probably one of the best teams in the state. Jimmy Downs is swinging a tremendous bat right now. He's hitting the cover off the baseball. Uh, we already know what we're going to get for Kavari Thunderbird for the ticket and Kamari on the mound. Um, this team really, when they get going, they really get going. So it's going to be very tough to beat Kim Wood when the playoffs start. They've been in the big stage three years in a row. So I, I get the, you can't mention city championship without mentioning the Broncos. Okay, this is the Cinderella story of the CPS school year. I got Simeon, you know, shout out to Coach Smoke. You know, he came in there and didn't nobody know what Simeon was going to be this year. And, you know, they right there knocking at the door. They playing some competitive baseball. 
and they pulled away with a couple big wins. And this type of team in Simeon, that scrappy, loud, rowdy, rough, um, tough baseball team, that, that, woo, they're tough to beat in the playoffs, and they have nothing to lose. So I love to see what Coach Smoke and the Simeon Wolverines got in store. Last but not least, it's the Morgan Park Mustangs. I know Morgan Park has, whoo, they had an up and down year, but I had an interview with Coach Ernest Radcliffe earlier this week, and he made, he, he made a statement that stood out to me. It's all about who gets hot at the right time. Derek Johnson on a pitching mound for Morgan Park, he can single-handedly dominate a game on the mound. He's a senior, really high on this kid. And Radcliffe seems to always pull something out of, out of sleeve or out of his trick bag. So I'm going to be, can't wait to see the Morgan Park Mustangs. So those are the Gurus eight. That eight teams that I just talked about are the teams that I feel one of those teams will be in the city championship and win the city championship. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, make sure you go like this video, share it with somebody, and also make sure you go follow Black Baseball Media. Black Baseball Media will be the official live stream for the Elite Eight and the Final Four games of the CPL playoffs. At UIC, you already know, Curtis Granite Stadium. Here we go.